I would like to be allied with the... Um, Ooh, you're having a bit of a problem with coalitions. Maybe he's going to want an alliance. Probably. He's currently allied with Sweden, Bavaria, Brandenburg. So, uh, I guess that makes sense. This is a fairly painful amount of coalition readiness, though. Good luck to him. Improve opinion with outraged countries. Yeah, I should probably do that. They're all happy enough right now. The marsh has been converted. Very nice. Jeez, it takes a long time to come get my guys back. Before I do, uh, offer knowledge sharing. Someone would accept. Morocco would accept. Yeah, oh my god, so little money. But I'll do it anyway. Money's money, you know? Oh, fuck you. It said you would accept. Now my fucking diplomat's gone for another 15 days. That is the difference between living and dying. What happened with the Bavaria player? Um, well, the Muscovy player kind of went a bit AWOL from uh, multiplayer games in general. Um, I think we got, yeah, we, he, he got a bit salty about something that happened last Sunday. Um, so the Bavaria player has jumped into Muscovy permanently, as far as we know. Um because it needs a player, it's too... Muscovy is more important to a roleplay multiplayer than Bavaria is. Put simply. We can invest in another idea. It's actually really helpful as well. Negative 0.5 interest per annum is going to reduce the amount of money I spend on my debt significantly. So I'm happy with that. Do I like... If I attack him, Austria joins. Castile joins. Oh, so probably not. He's allied with Switzerland. I could attack him, not get Castile involved. But Austria would also get involved. Rebel Uprising, Burgundians, and Gascon. Alright, looks like the maintenance needs to go up. How close are we to the disaster? 62. Are we going to be able to get over 50% religious unity? No. No, I don't believe we will be. Alright, so... I need to go... I could just raise the autonomy. No, it's not enough. Just go to Barrois, and then Gascons are down here. Why are the Gascons getting uppity? Where are the Gascons getting uppity? Burgundian Separatists, French Comte, and Barois. Makes sense. Gascons. Getting uppity in Limousine, Foire, Burn, Army. Oh, they're all down here, but I couldn't tell because of the fucking... The color of it is the same as my entire country. Nowhere is it zero, I think. Yeah, no, the entire country is pissed off with me. Which uh, it totally makes sense. Uh, there's not a lot of religious unity going on right now. We need to unify. Where can you stand? Oh, God. You're going to have to stand way far away. Um, I don't want to take attrition, so I'm going to move away and then just work on it from far away. You can go... Yeah, just go to Bordeaux. Work on it from there. Autonomously suppress the rebels. Oh, God. My country is blowing up already and I don't even have the disaster yet. Not good. I guess I could add in this as well. Maybe. Yeah, that went to 0.1. That's fine. Hopefully this helps. Honestly, I could sw uh, swap this around so we've got three twenty stacks, and then I could do more. I think I might just leave it as it is, though. Only making two ducats now, which is shitty, for sure. Don't want to build anything. And the thing is, I need to 
build a fleet. I, I need a fleet. Uh, my fleet is absolutely god-awful right now. So that's something I need. I need to get rid of the loans. That is a further thousand plus ducats. Um, I need to build up my army strength. I need, this guy needs ten cannons. That's a lot more money. Um, I just do not have the money for the things that I need to do right now, which is shit. I have everything cored. Maybe you should be a full core. You might be worth it. Probably, yeah. No provinces can be cored here. Why not? Because they're very expensive. Also, I'm over my governing capacity. Improved relations goes down. Core creation cost goes up. Aggressive expansion impact goes up. There's another conversion. Just get as many done as we can, but there's no way we're getting to um, enough religious unity. There's also increasing the amount of uh, unrest I'm having. I think there's little re I think a little rest is what you need. Yes. No, absolutely. There's no way I'm going to war unless it's obviously forced upon me. Uh, yearly prestige would be nice. Because I am below my prestige limit right now. Yes, I'll take it. Need that prestige to go up. I couldn't stay excommunicated. That was that would have been too painful. Like my king is still alive, the the guy that is excommunicated. Hell, you can tell here that he's excommunicated still. He's in red, even though he's he doesn't give a shit about the pope anymore. Have you become? Nope, you're still Catholic. He hasn't got his event yet. Burgundy is actually pushing back against Holland really well. He's taken back the war goal. The only difference here is they've got Oxroy and Dijonet still sieged, but they're desieging it. How has Holland fucked this up so hard? I can invest in a technology. Okay, how long have I got left to decide? 23 days? I love me some innovativeness, so I'm going to do it. Innovativeness is, is love and life and everything in between. Plus, I was massively ahead in Diplo Tech. Or Diplo Points. Uh, Holland has hired Brandenburgian um, Mercs. Uh, did he pay the full price for those? He has to spend one and a half. It can't be for free. That's against the rules. He's like, please, come help me. I need your help. Probably. How long is, uh, have I been streaming? Uh, for about an hour and 40 minutes. If you talk to the Netherlands, demand they get the merchant out of Bordeaux. It's really hurting your trade. Yeah. Uh, I'll wait until after his war. Uh, that seems fine. I don't care about reform right now. I might also do this. Just one click. No, two clicks. Two clicks. So now I'm no longer above my reform, uh, over my governing capacity. 527 out to 540. Um, I have the Dutch on the line. I declared on the Burgundian heathens to rid them of their treasury. 200 ducats could be mine, but my diplomats tell me another solution. Convert the bourgeon. Ooh, now that is a good idea. The ancient indeed abandon the false pope in Rome. The trade problems is painful. Yeah, I, like I said, I'm gonna wait until after he's finished with his war, and then we'll I'll talk to him about it. Doing it right now would be a bit of a dick move. Our brethren joined under a banner in the true faith. Our influence as defender of faith is significantly increased. We have tier two is total five nations below follow the Protestant faith. Next tier is available at ten. Currently being the defender of the faith will give me a missionary war exhaustion reduction, prestige up, missionary maintenance cost negative ten. Nice. The price of fish has gone down. Blah. So who else turned Oh yeah, it was Burgundy, wasn't it? No, not yet. 
Who else turned Protestant then? Um, oh, there it was Goslar. Good lad, Goslar. Yeah, beautiful bastard, you. Must more must form. I mean, basically, what we need to have happen is Amsterdam needs to convert a bunch of this shit. That's kind of necessary. How long till I get a disaster then? Not very long. Uh, apparently, Grey Death in Poland is trying to reply to somebody and, and failing horribly. Fuck off, Portugal. Trade is a pain. French Wars of Religion will start in 1513. May 1513. Oh, it's next month. It's next year. It's next year. I don't like it. Uh, some of the diet. Uh, let's see. Auvergne needs a church. I like that one. I'd like that one too. Have prestige of at least 10. Uh, yes, please. Uh, gain money. Oh, yes. Carcassonne. Do that to Car... Excuse me. Carcassonne. So, uh, it wanted to be four, was it? Yeah, so I need to do two clicks. Ah, you bastard. We'll get the next click eventually. And then I can pay off some more loans. Oh, yes, uh, do that. How long am I going to have this extra missionary strength? Uh, until 1519. Okay, that's good. That's good. I'll probably be able to get everything converted at that point. Color is about to be converted as well. Yeah, he royally fucked me by nabbing the thing from me. Uh, talk with the Ottomans to get their full support in case you get attacked during their religious war. Oh, he's he's fully on board with that already. That's not a problem. That's core aqua. Local traders demand aid. Fuck off. I can't take more and rest. I'm already pretty badly beaten up. That's not something I can possibly survive right now. I mean, we're making so little money. I need to fix that. Ottoman's no longer at war with Muscovy. Muscovy's now at war with Kazan. Anyone else? Gazimukumuk. The Ottomans against Georgia Herzegovina. Completely loses influence. I'd love to see some land, but these two would go below, and that would be bad. 20 church power. I like the idea of more admin. No, let's get the extra church power. I believe I just need 50, right? No, 100, fuck. Fook. All right, who's going to rise up now? Breton, Gascons, and Burgundians. We're going to have a hell of a time playing Rebel Whack-A-Mole. It is going to be bad. At least we've got 70k manpower in the bank, so it's it's going to be fairly uh, comfortable, I think, trying to get rid of them all. We'll see what we can do. You're never going to pay back your loans. I'm going to try my damnedest. I could also take a bit of corruption to pay him off. Co has been converted. But like I said, with this I'll get morale, I'll get discipline, I'll probably get uh, missionary strength. Dev cost is in there. Settler increase, idea cost. There's some really fucking good shit. Uh, production efficiency. Like, everything here is great. I just, the painful part is having to choose. Inflation reduction man is real nice, but I'm going to go with prestige man. Need to get that prestige up. Gold found in Tafilalt. Good for him. Here it comes. Two more months. Oh, we're at 100% of our coding capacity. Yeah. For someone who has never played, it would be worth buying the base version of EU4, buying all the DLCs near £300. Unrealistic. Um, I'd say get the... Um, what's it called? Like this, it, There's a starter pack kind of thing. 
um, that gives you like the essential DLCs. Um, it's like Empire Founder Pack. Um, have a look at that, see what price it is on the Steam sale. I'm not sure what it is right now. I think that one's probably worth it for new players. I think that one's a pretty good deal. Your units have suffered casualties, my lord. Well, yeah, no shit. But that does mean there's a part of my nation that no longer needs um, that unrest reduction. And it's Gascony. Oh, fuck, here we go. Um, I guess we're going to go with losing only one stab. Yeah. French war religion... All right, how do I fix this? I need to fix this by 90% religious unity. Uh, does not own provinces in the region of France. Unrest needs to be at least five. Wait, what? No owned province has five unrest. Okay, that's going to be difficult for you. It's basically just turbocharged my, uh, my unrest is basically what I'm seeing here. You need to go to... Actually, you, know, you need to go... That's fine, I can ignore you for now. You're gonna go kill them, that's fantastic. And then you'll kill them, that's also fantastic. Definitely don't allow them to siege it if they're, you know, Catholic zealots, that would suck balls. Will not be uh <laughs> killing these guys. I want I want the Protestant zealots to, to do well. But yeah, I want five thousand of this guy's cannons to go into this army. That's the idea. will both be 30 stacks. Uh, support the Protestants. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, French Pro- Oh, shit. The Leagues? Are the Leagues formed already? Or are they will form? You, mate, you need to go here. Just, just stay in Reims. Ah, fucking Barwarians. Look, I just, I just need May, please, just give me my dudes. Half of you go away. Select this unit. You go kill that. You go there. I wanted to get this guy up here before I did that because if I'd split you off, just five thousand cannons and got them to march south, uh, they'd have probably been murdered, which would uh, obviously be um, a, a negative. Let's say. Will we ever see a video of Total War in your channel? Yes. If you scroll down my page that is existing right now. There, there is plenty of Total War in the channel already. I mean, if you're asking for more, yes, also. Uh, but yeah, no, there is Total War. Yeah, 166 ducats. Fantastic. That allows me to pay off nothing. <laughs> We will, we will defend our land from these uppity Catholics. Honestly, Bretons, they're going to be fairly easy to deal with. Um, we've got Toulousians, uh, mostly easy to deal with. And then Auvergne is just, uh, I just need to sit someone on Auvergne Mountain there in the middle of France. You go sit in Auvergne. You go sit in Amour. We'll get that all rightfully fixed up. And we'll get more shit converted. Armour is actually being converted right now by the Senate of Reformation. Fantastic, good stuff. It's an internal Protestant league inside France. It seems that way, yes. Barwa has just been converted as well, which means I can convert... Ongwemoy. Totally pronounced... Pronounced? Pronounced perfectly. Uh, let's not go on there if I'm going to be getting attrition. Don't like it. I'm going to need my manpower. I mean, we've already spent like 10,000 manpower fighting these bloody rebels. Uh, the Pope has gone to war against the Knights. No, the Castilians have gone to war against the Knights. Wow. Also, 
St. Bartholomew's Day Massacre. After the failed assassination of a Catholic leader, the king feared reprisals and ordered the assassinations of all prominent Catholics in Paris. This has unintentionally inspired Protestant zealots in the capital to begin a massacre of the entire Catholic population. There's no one Catholic in Paris. No. No. Shit. Paris gets religious massacre plus 3% missionary strength. It doesn't need it. It doesn't fucking need it. It's already Catholic. Uh, it's already Protestant. No. F fucking Protestants being murdery. Why'd you have to go and be so murdery? There we go. We'll, we'll just we'll just um, just fix that shit. Breton separatists. Oh, Finisterre is a hundred percent going to rebel, but it's grassland, so I I can't say I give too much of a fuck. I think it'll be fine. Also, I like how he's just sitting here sieging forever, and Liege is there like, oh, I'm gonna siege this forever. Liege, mate, you need to turn Protestant, buddy. Come on. Spread the Protestant faith. Oh, yes. Oh, no, that's reformed. Reformed has fired. Oh, they, they fired in Armour instead of Finisterre. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so that's you dealt with, then. Who's next? Toulouse. I mean, that's all down here, isn't it? I could get you to just go down to Montpellier. Or I could get you to sit in fucking Paris. Actually, you can sit in Paris and drill. That's going to be plenty fine enough to get rid of 2.4. That's fine. At which point... Oh, hang on, wait a minute. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bum. uh There we go. Uh, it's not too awful, to be honest. Converting a big country like France almost always leads to negative consequences. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Is this disaster only for France, just like the Revolution one? Yes, it's a French unique disaster in the Age of Reformation if you don't have enough religious unity. It'd be worth it in the end, yes. Uh, they really have had a lot of flavour for playing France. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a very popular country to play, so I would hope so. Uh, it's best understood as a temporary debuff until you get through with it, at which point you usually come out stronger than you were before because you're able to better take advantage of it. Yes. What made you turn Protestant? The fucking Pope! Being a dick! Um, yeah, that, that's why. 